Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. With Brent Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. It's the Miami Heat taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. And so the tip-off, it's Miami. So here's Miami's starting group. We've got Williams. O'Neal is out there with Haslam. Then there's Dwayne Wade. And it's Walker in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Wade. Lock it six. Down low. It's stolen by to Jacumbo. And now here comes Ante Kumbo leading the break. A great floor away. This says that Tinta Kumbo has a sense for when the D has overcommitted or shifted his way. And then he finds where his teammate is open on the floor. Here's Williams. Pass to Walker. And here's Wade. Here's the pass to Haslam. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by the Bucks. Middleton looking it over. It's stolen by Haslam. Shaq with it. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Outside, Walker. Inside, Hanslick. A shot missing. Giannis with some nice D. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, Kevin. Well, I caught up with the head coach for the Heat. The question is always, how do you contain Giannis Adentacumpo? The coach said, now that he's hitting the face-up jumper with more consistency, there isn't much left to take away. So we're going to try to make him work hard at the other end. That's what a lot of coaches say, guys, and they don't succeed very well. We'll see if they can do it tonight. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Here's Giannis. After the made shot from Dwayne Wade, just five on the clock. From deep. And again, the Bucks miss. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. I thought they played smart, and then all of a sudden it was maybe a little too flashy there, and that uh, that's unfortunate. Williams passes to Haslam. Walker against Middleton. Pulls up on the wing. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Holiday looking for an opening. Pass to Middleton. Tipped away. To the inside. Giannis kicks to Holiday. The three for DiVincenzo. O'Neal with the rebound. The Heat with the lead. Outside, Walker. Williams against Zedekumbo. Outside, Williams. Tries it from the top of the key. The rebound by the Bucks. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. A nice shot there by Antetokounmpo. I like how Giannis is inviting a little bit more contact and no longer shying away from it. Even Genzo against Wade. Passes it to Williams. Now the feed to O'Neal. Over Lopez. That's good from Shaq on the assist by Williams. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Outside Holiday. Pass to Giannis. The 15-footer, good. Giannis so good in the paint, steps a little bit outside to the mid-range, and has the size and skill to get it done. Outside, Walker. The pass to Wade. Outside, Williams. The Heat need to get a shot off. The offensive rebound. 
Henslem, that's good. And a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. Now here's Middleton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. There's the dish to Antetokounmpo. Middleton trying to break free. And again, Giannis Antetokounmpo. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. Outside, Williams. To the paint, here's Haslam, and the rejection by Antetokounmpo. And here comes Holiday leading the fast break. Here's a three. The shot misses. Well, he go the other way with it. Walker the pass to Haslam. He's looking for Williams and finds him. And the basket is good. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Middleton on the wing. Loads it up for Giannis. Williams with the ball. He dishes it to Wade. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. They are just killing him on the interior. Giannis against Haslam. Here's onto Takumbo. And it's Haslam with the rebound. The Heat leading by four. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Gotta love how Dwayne Wade runs the floor. The transition slam was beautiful there. Holiday, the pass to Giannis. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Udonis Heslock. The Bucs shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Two shots. throw good Giannis. now we can talk about it over and over again Attentacumpo combines size and versatility in ways we just haven't seen at least up until the Greek freaks arrival here's what Milwaukee's going with right now Portis he's checked in for Lopez Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton and it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo and both free throws good for Giannis Miami leading by four. Peyton passes to Wade. Here's Posey. Pass to Peyton. Wade outside. Six on the shot clock. Softly drops in the floater. Wade's got eight points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now here is Holiday. No points in the game yet for him. It's stolen by Hazel. Now Posey. He hits Hazel on the top of the key. To the wing on the left. Peyton kicks to Morning. That's good. And it's Peyton with the assist. And it's an eight point heat lead. You have to love the approach Peyton takes to the game. And an exceptional passer who does a great job with distributing the basketball. Portis with it. Wade picks him up. Portis against Wade. Here's Connington. Good on the three-point shot. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Peyton. This is it to Posey. And here's Wade. Excellent D there from Holiday. 
And, and already they staked out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. And, and in terms of size, not your typical center, but man, he plays as big as any of them thanks to that terrific leaping ability. Played outside. Seventeen foot shot on the way. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And the second free throw, good. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Bucks, trailing by four. Here is Forbes. Wade is covering. Back to Holiday. And Holiday throws it down. How about Drew rising up, getting to the rim? Love the power on the dunk, too. Lead left side. Morning kicks to Posey. Peyton looking around. Wade has the open look. A three-pointer no good. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. It's taken away by Peyton. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. Wade gets the bucket. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Here's Holiday. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Holiday's got his second basket of the game. That's a great drive from Drew Holiday using that blazing speed to his advantage. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And, and coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments, pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. The ball played outside and they call the foul so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play a show of strength there from Dwayne Wade to muscle the shot in over the tough defense he's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here free throw and Wade just simply one of the best two guards of all time nice to just sum it up in one sentence right there dynamic all around talent he just continues to add to his legacy Miami leading by four Cozy no luck no one to blame on that one but himself you get looks like that you've got to take advantage and Connaughton has it in the corner off target from three-point range to the middle. Here's Wade. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Back to Holiday. Well timed pass and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Holiday's got 6. Well you're kind of asking for it. Drew Holiday gets in that close. He's probably scoring. Double team on Wade. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Bucks. 
They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Who's going to miss first every time one team scores, the other team right back at you? And they double up Peyton. He feeds it to Morning. And Morning throws it down. I love the unselfishness, and you know coaches do as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Holiday, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Eight points for him. Well, that basket must be widening out right now because he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Wade passes to Morning. Good work there as it goes. And the Heat lead by four. As soon as Wade looks up and sees his teammate all alone, simple pass, throws it ahead, uncontested jet. Wayne Wade, he's been the guy making things happen for the Miami Heat. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. so far halfway through the first half in this one and let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the heat guys throughout that first they just were aggressive on the defensive end showing active hands you know they really made a lot of good quality reads down there took some chances but feeling more calculated than risky bucks trail by four on the court for miami here in the second gary payton is out there with Dwayne wayne then there's Morning. Then there's James Posey. And it's O'Neal in at the five. Here is Forbes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Five to shoot. Here's Connaughton. And the three off target. Miami leading by four. Here's Wade. Falls right in. He is eight for 11 with that shot. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Here's Holiday. Kept alive. Portis scored the basket. His second of two attempts. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. Wade passes to Morning, and Morning throws it down. And one of the things that makes Dwayne Wade such a special player is his ability to get his teammates going. Here's Holiday. That's good. He's five for nine. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And they double up Pete. Wade outside. And here is Posey. Back to Wade. Banked in off the glass. 18 points for Wade. Just impressed with the teamwork out there. Setting the table for one another. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring, and if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. with some changes. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Chris Middleton comes in for Pat Connaughton. And it's Dante DiVincenzo in for Drew Holiday. 
Walker's jet in for the Heat. Williams comes in for Dwayne Wade. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. And when you're behind in the game, that's what you've got to do. Contest every shot. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played so far. Back to Tucker. Shoots over Walker. Here's Lopez. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Lopez, no luck. Oh, can't punish the defense for leaving him open that time. That's a frustrating miss for a really steady jump shooter. Shaq's shot is off. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He says, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Second chance shot and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Chris Middleton for Miami. They have made one of three free throws in the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. O'Neal hits them both. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. DiVincenzo kicks to Middleton. The best to Lopez. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And the aggressiveness on display here from O'Neal. Terrific at turning shots away with that size and length. For Miami, they have made three of five free throw attempts. Shooting two. That's good from Peyton. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. And the Bucks making a change here. Ante de Kumbos checked in. And both free throws good for Peyton. <laughs> Peyton, a super vocal guy, constantly talking up a storm, always trying to get into the heads of the opposition. And Hunter Takumbo slams it in. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Back to Williams. Top Shaq. A shot off that time. And Milwaukee the other way now. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. It's Andre Kumbo on the wing. Count it. Giannis has got four points this quarter. I mean, he's a hard guy to guard everywhere on the floor, but more than anywhere else, Giannis can get you in the paint. That's where he lives. Peyton outside. Walker the pass to Posey. 
Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. The Heat have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. One shot. The free throw off from O'Neal. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. Here is Forbes. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Over Posey. They get the rebound. It's blocked by Shaq. Peyton dishes to Posey. Forbes with the rebound. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Here's Middleton. The Heat getting the bucket. Lopez outside. Forbes the pass to DiVincenzo. Those three-pointers off the mark. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Six to shoot. Walk. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Kumbo kicks to Forbes. At the honest. And the double up on it to Kumbo. And again, the Bucks miss. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Williams with the ball. To the inside. And it's Peyton. That time on the assist by Williams. Jason Peyton's got the lead up to 12 now for the Heat. That's their third straight make off an assist. To the paint, here's Lopez, and the dunk by Lopez. Uh, Lopez at that size has no trouble throwing it down. And the Heat call time here. Bucks on defense. It's a 10-point game. Good ball movement here by Miami. Williams can't hit. They can shave the deficit to single digits right here. Down low, here's DiVincenzo. Got a hand on it. And here's the fast break. Walker leading the way. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Giannis, and the jump by Giannis. Watching that guy put on a burst of speed, he takes up so much of the floor. What a burst by Giannis. Here's Williams. Six points for him. Fires at the elbow. Gets the front of the rim and out. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Here's DiVincenzo. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. 
that one on Posey. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. For Milwaukee, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And, and talking about last season, this team hit just 74% of their free throws. I'm sure they were hoping for better than that. And the first one drops. Drew Holiday. He's checked in for the Bucks. Then for the Heat. Warnings checked in for O'Neal. Haslam comes in for James Posey. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Peyton. And he makes both free throws. Miami leading by eight. Wade left side. Haslam. And the jam by Udonis Haslam. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. How about Lopez inside showing some smooth, fluid moves. The Bucks have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. At the line for two. That's good from Brooke Lopez. And Lopez serves as an unbelievable case study for someone who changed his game over time. I mean, almost in a season. So specifically, how he added the three-point shot, it's made him such a valuable asset to this offense. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. Outside, Walker. Back to Wade. Dishes it to Haslam. Wade on the wing. Defended by DiVincenzo. Six on the shot clock. That's a two-pointer from Walker. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got his fourth rebound in this one. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Here's Holiday. Doesn't go that time. Williams with the defensive effort. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Miami. They've held a 12-point lead early. The kick out to Walker. Feeds to Aslan. Lopez with the block. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. To Holiday. And it's Miami with the rebound. Is it getting cold in here? This is this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Time out, time out. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee.
Pat Connaughton. He's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. Outside Holiday. Passes it to Connaughton. Now here's Giannis. Back to Connaughton. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Connaughton's got eight. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Here's Wade. The Heat rebound. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Uh, an outstanding floor general right there. Holiday has switched between point guard and off guard, and a great feel for when guys are open. No good from Wade. Bucks trail by seven. Inside, here's onto the combo. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Wade surveying the D. And that one is good. Wade's got eight points in the quarter. Well, as soon as he gets it there, it's going up. He's on fire right now. Holiday, the pass to Connaughton. Lopez, left side. Over morning. Lopez, no luck. Miami leading by seven. Shoots from 14. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Over to the left wing. Out of the combo, trying to break loose. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez has got his second basket. Uh, Lopez down on the inside, getting that soft touch to go. Wade passes to Williams. Can't get it to fall. We've got 128 left now here in the second. And Giannis throws it down. And running with a full head of steam, but completely under control. Yeah, you think he's comfortable at that speed? He's done it so many times before. Just an absolute blur in transition, and that helps get the rhythm going. So it's Miami now after the basket by Milwaukee. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Now here is Holiday. He's got 10. On the wing, Giannis. Rebound by the Heat. Haslam's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Wade with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Wade can't hit. Bucks trail by three. Floats one up. And it's laid in by Holiday. Holiday's got four points now in the quarter. Killing them softly there. Holiday with the floater over the top. And that puts the D in a tough spot. Walker surveying the floor. Wade outside. Rocket six. Here's Haslam. And the rejection by Ankumbo. Now you go in there weak like that, and a guy like Giannis with his length is going to throw it away. From deep three-point range, and that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. Wayne Wade, he's been the guy making things happen for the Miami Heat. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. And we'll be right back after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Wayne Wade wasted no time getting hot. He ended up with 22 points, three assists, and three rebounds. Kenny, let's get your take on Miami. Well, their success was largely about second chance points. They crashed the offensive boards heavy in the first half. I love how they fight for every 50-50 ball like it's the last ball on earth. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Bucks. Ernie, they're taking way too many threes. The offense has no rhythm. They need to go back to the drawing board. They can try to get a little bit more transition, more off the pick and roll. Anything other than shooting that three. It's not going. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started.
We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Dwayne Wade really has his fingerprints all over this one. Well, we'll find out if they were able to find an, an answer for him over the break. He was scoring with ease in that first half. Yeah, just way too easy out there, and I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. They trail by one. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Bucks. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the small forward position. For Milwaukee, they have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Chris Middleton has worked his way back and come a long way. The former second round pick becoming a consistent starter in the league. And that drops, so they now lead by one. The heat on offense. Now here's Williams. Pass to Walker. Even Genzo against Wade. Just five to shoot. A rebound by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got seven rebounds in the game. And they double up Giannis. O'Neal against Holland. A three for Devin Genzo. But they'll get another chance. And here are the Heat. It's a one-point game. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Outside Holiday, the pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Holiday, launches a three. Milwaukee, no good that time either. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. And the basket by Wade. Just a sensational floater from Dwayne Wade there, completely catching the defense off guard. So it's the Bucks now. Middleton the pass to Giannis. Giannis is double. The wide open look here for Lopez. Here's Holiday. He can't get that one to fall. Well, he'd go the other way with it. Oof, ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Shots good by Williams. Bucks trail by three. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Hey guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. And Miami making a change here. Posey's at the end. The Heat leading by three. Wade outside. And at the top of the key, Williams. Back to Wade. Takes a three. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Here's Antetokounmpo. He's got 20. Knocks it loose, and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Antetokounmpo. Peyton, he's checked in for the Heat. It's a neck and neck game here in Milwaukee. Wade against DiVincenzo. Shoots from the elbow. The shot by Wade, no good. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. DiVincenzo finds Middleton. 
And the Bucks miss again. Miami leading by three. Wade with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Wade misses. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Now here's Peyton. Chris Middleton unable to get his last shot to go. Peyton passes to O'Neal. Stolen by Middleton. Last break, Milwaukee. Giannis is running. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Here's Posey, the rim-rattling two-handed jam. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. Timeout called the Bucks. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now, and all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. Portis, who's checked in for Lopez, and it's P.J. Tucker in for Antetokounmpo. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Pass to Middleton. They need this one. O'Neal with the rebound. A heat leading by five. Posey with it. Now guarded by Middleton. And Posey kicks to Payton. Throws it up high. And the dunk by O'Neal. And how about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley-oops. Holiday against Payton. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Middleton's got four points now in the quarter. Mid-range, plenty of room for that release. He's going to take those all day long. Peyton against Holiday. Peyton passes to Posey. Here's Haslam. Shot clock at six. And he just hasn't been able to get it going. Down low, Tucker. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Tucker's got his first two points. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. Stolen by Tucker. Pass break, Milwaukee. Here's DiVincenzo. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Good ball movement here by Miami. Pass to O'Neal. Shoots over Portis. Out to Wade. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Middleton on the wing for the lead. Trains it from beyond the arc. Middleton's got the lead up to two now for Milwaukee. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. DiVincenzo against O'Neal. Back to Wade. Off the run. Here's Haslam, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Haslam's got it all tied up now for the Heat. Bounce pass, Holiday to the inside. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. O'Neal inside, working on Portis. A good job on the glass there, working hard to establish position and put himself in a great spot to come away with that rebound. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Six points for him. 
The shot will not fall. O'Neal with the defensive effort. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assistant. And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Wade against Middleton. Five on the clock. Elbow shot. Rebounded by the Bucks. Middleton's got six rebounds now in the game. Holiday with it. Guarded now by Shaq. It's blocked by Shaq. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Payton with the ball. The epic counts. Wade's got 26 points. Ties it up with that one. You know, he's such a smart scorer. He doesn't force anything. Let's the opportunities come to him. And the foul on James Posey. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Bucks making a change here. Forbes checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Warnings checked in for Udonis Haslam. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Here is Forbes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Here's Tucker. Morning with some nice D. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Peyton. And he banks in the layup. And the Heat lead by two. And how about the quickness on display there for Peyton, especially when he's slicing to the basket. Here is Forbes. Poked away. Peyton outside. He's looking for DiVincenzo and finds him. And Middleton with a clear path to the hoop. Hammers it home to polish off the break. Well, Chris Middleton recognizing the transition opportunity and taking off down the court to get ahead of everybody. Now Peyton. Six points for him. Takes the 13-footer. Here's O'Neal. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And here is DiVincenzo. He has six. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Heat. Morning's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Posey. Miami no good on that time either. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. DiVincenzo can't hit it. And here are the Heat now. Peyton's shot is off. DiVincenzo gets the bucket. DiVincenzo's got four this quarter. He made a great decision there to push the basketball up. Excellent teamwork. Wade passes to Peyton. Here's Posey, defended by Middleton. Here's Wade. A rebound by the Bucks. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Sinks the triple. Now it's a five-point Milwaukee lead. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Now here's Peyton. He's got six. A fadeaway. The shot by Wade, no good. And he needs to find other ways to contribute besides shooting. Sometimes you, you have to learn how to play well when you're not playing well. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a little while. That's kind of a shoot-around jumper if I've ever seen one. Some tough offensive sets. They want to Oh, oh that was something else. O'Neal is a force of nature. Once he gets it that low, it is a foregone conclusion. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee.
Lopez, he's checked in for Bobby Ports. On his under to Kumbo, comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Holiday in for Brim Forbes. And then for Miami, Walker comes in for Shaq. And it's Williams in for Dwayne Wade. It's a huge night for Giannis Antetokounmpo at the offensive end of the floor. That length and athleticism just proving to be too much for any defensive scheme. Morning. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And Antetokounmpo and Giannis throws it down. Sometimes it takes a while for all that length in Giannis to catch up to those feet, but once he does, man, he can explode. Williams looking over the floor. Kicks it to Peyton. Shot clock at five. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Bucks leading by five. Left side out of the Kumbo. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. And Walker kicks to Posey. Back to Walker. Good ball movement here by the Heat. Clock at four. Here's Posey. Here's Morning. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Morning's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, and Morning's just a beast on the glass, using that muscular frame to get into prime position there on the board. Bobs it up for Holiday, and Holiday throws it down. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley oop dunk. Williams for three. It's off, and that's going to do it for the third quarter. Milwaukee on top as they wrap up the third quarter on a 15-6 run. And we'll return shortly. So good to have you with us. And so here is Miami. They trail by seven. And for Miami, look at who they've got out there. Gary Payton is out there with Williams. Then there's Morning. Then there's James Posey. And it's Walker in at the three. Williams against Holiday. It's Anadokounmpo on the wing. Great look, but off the mark. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing. Had numbers, took advantage. Well, if you're giving up that much height, the only thing that you can do as a defender is to foul him. That's good from out of the Kumbo. The Heat trail by six. Peyton outside, and they double up Peyton. Here's Morning, and Morning throws it down. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Greg. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. 
Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Don't mistake that Lopez shoots threes now more often, that he can't go down low at that size and do damage. Udonis Haslam has checked in for James Posey. That's good from Lopez. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Heat trail by seven. Peyton outside. Pass to Walker. For the three, Giannis grabs the miss. Andre de Kumbo's got 11 rebounds in the game. Middleton against Walker. Middleton can't get it to go. Outside Williams. Right at the free throw line. Here's Haslam. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First free throw is good. Aslam hits both of them. Giannis, he'll bring it up for the Bucks. Leading by five. Bucket is good. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Outside, Walker. Now the pass to Morning. With some art. And Peyton gets it to go on the assist by Morning. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. To the paint. Here's Yacht. And Yannis throws it down. That's an experienced decision by Holiday to fire that pass to the open man. Williams passes to Walker. Now Morning. Lopez covering. Morning dishes to Walker. Outside Williams. Six on the shot clock. Out to Peyton. Fires from deep. That one doesn't go. The Bucks go the other way with it. Middleton drives in. And that one is hammered home. Sprinting up the floor and beating everyone down. That's the reward for Chris Middleton. Outside, Walker. Pass to Peyton. Good ball movement here by Miami. Here's the dish to Morning. And block the ball with his palm. What a defensive play. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. To the middle. Here's Walker. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Williams. Williams has got five assists in the game. That is all timing right there. Just led him perfectly. And Middleton kicks to Giannis. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. Middleton right now seeing the floor and delivering the ball well to his teammates. Good at finding the open man. And the Heat call time here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis onto Takumbo. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Time 
A different look for Miami. O'Neill's checked in for morning. And Dwayne Wade subbed in for Gary Payton. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Well, I was able to hear the Heat coach go over his game plan during the break. He said, we're too concerned with their shooters right now. We've got to close off the inside. They are gutting us. We plead it with his guys. Come on, let's take a stand. Kevin? Haslam, that's good. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. DiVincenzo with it. Passes to Andacumbo. And Lopez has it in the corner. Good on the triple. Lopez has got the lead up to 10 now for Milwaukee. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's Williams. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Williams has got six here in this quarter. You know what? The switch has flipped, and he's in that proverbial zone right now, knocking down three of four here in the fourth. Pass to Giannis. Even Genzo with it. No good on the three. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. leading by five. Outside Holiday. And there's the pass to DiVincenzo. They get it again. Here's Antetokounmpo. And Giannis throws it down. Great instincts by Giannis. Superb timing. And then he pounced on top of that miss. Williams against Holiday. Williams passes to Wade. From outside, off the mark. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. DiVincenzo's got 12 points here in the second half. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Down low, O'Neal. Good D by Giannis. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. And that'll be Milwaukee as it goes out of bounds. Bucks retain possession. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the Bucks. DiVincenzo misses off the right iron. The Heat trail by 10. Walker in the post. Defended by Middleton. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Over Walker. Lopez, no luck. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Here's Middleton. He doesn't hit that one. Shaq with some nice D. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for Miami. Williams passes to Haslam. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. Haslam's got eight points here in this quarter. 
And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. Lopez finds Middleton. He gets it in there. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Wade outside. Pass to Walker. The feed to Wade. Shoots over to DiVincenzo. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. Milwaukee leading by eight. Middleton left side. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And it's the Heat on the break. Here's Wade. And he uses the glass on the layup. Wade's got nine points now in just the second half. Well, the rest of the team has looked pretty bad tonight, but he's done a fantastic job of scoring the ball and carrying the load on offense. Outside Holiday. The second chance effort, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, Lopez has the height in there to just go in and grab rebounds over the top of most people. One shot. That's good from Brook Lopez. The Heat trail by nine. Williams kicks to Walker. And it's Wade in the corner. Back to Walker. Williams passes to Wade. Now here's Walker. Down to five on the shot clock. Passes it to Williams. And it's off from three-point range. Here's DiVincenzo. And the layup's good off the glass. And it's an 11-point Bucks lead. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift-wrapping points. Has to wait. Shoots over DiVincenzo. That one a little long. Bucks leading by 11. Here's Holiday. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Smart for Holiday to get that shot off even after the hack after the from the defense. Bucks. Two Holiday. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. I don't know if Drew Holiday's an underrated player, but he certainly is underappreciated with the way he can go at you as a two-way guy. He can score, and he can also guard positions one through four. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Both free throws good from Holiday. The Heat trail by 13. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. To end the run, and it comes off the front of the rim. One on one here. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Throw drops for DiVincenzo. The Heat trail by 16. Timeout called the Heat. They trail by 16. 157 left in the fourth quarter.
now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Here's Wade. One fifty-three left in the fourth quarter, and O'Neal gets it to go. And O'Neal, just a brute on the block, simply overpowers the opposition. To the paint, and there's Lopez. That's good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. To the inside, O'Neal and Shaq with the slam. And how about the mindset of Williams? Just constantly on the lookout to set up his teammates. Adi Kumbo against Haslam. Ball's knocked loose. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Play with the ball. He feeds it to Haslam. Doesn't go for him. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Holiday with it. Williams picks him up. And the dunk by Giannis. They maintain focus all night and, and along the way put on quite a show. Yeah, the cool thing is is that they look like they're having a blast out there. Everyone on the same page, contributions across the board. And the pass to Wade lets it go from deep. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Milwaukee. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Can't hit from in close. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Shots good by Walker. Beautiful transition offense there. That's execution at its best. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. It's Williams with the drive. Lopez with the block. Kicks to T. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. But once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that about wraps it up. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brent Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. And we'll see you next time.